In this video, we are going to go over how to update your camera using the website. We've already put a video out about how to do it with the apps, so please check into that if you prefer to do it with the apps. This is to update your mini camera over the air. So this is going to prevent you from having to go to the camera to perform the update. However, there is a certain procedure that you'll need to follow to make sure this works properly. We've tried to automate the procedure as much as possible, so we hope that this works well for everyone. So first, choose the camera that you would like to update. So we're going to start with this camera that's called daily mode. And that's the most important thing. Your camera is going to need to be in once a day or four times daily check-in mode for the camera firmware update to proceed properly. If you are in instant mode, you're gonna get an error message. We're gonna talk about that in just a minute. But your camera is gonna to need to be in once a day or four times daily check-in mode. So this camera is good to go. We can update it and we can just hit the camera firmware update button. You'll be presented with a message to tell you about the update. It tells you that the update may take up to 48 hours to complete. You will not be able to send additional remote control commands during this 48 hours. The camera must have sufficient battery power or signal to complete the update. If it doesn't, it's just gonna abandon the update and stop. It's not gonna lock up your camera. So don't be too worried about that. After the update, your camera is gonna to revert to default values for all settings. So your motion sensitivity, your delay time, your image size, all that's going back to default. You can reset it after the update using the remote control menu. You're not gonna lose any images. You're not gonna lose any of your data. During this, it's not going to format your SD card. So you're not gonna lose any images that are on your card either. So if you wish to proceed, you would just click okay to go ahead and send the update command to this camera. And again, it may take up to 48 hours to complete. Once you hit proceed, it will actually tell you when your update should be completed. So you can see this camera based on when it checks in, this camera should be completed by June 23rd at 12, 17 AM. Now we're going to go do a camera that is in instant mode. Remember that is the most important thing. It needs to be in daily mode or four times daily mode. However, should you forget and you accidentally try to update one that's not always available, it's going to present you with an error message. It looks something like this. Your camera will have to be in daily or four times daily check-in mode for the update to happen. Uh, what you'll need to do in this case, you can follow the instructions right here. Basically, you need to change it back to once a day and send that command to the camera. After the camera checks in and confirms that it is in once a day mode, then you can send the firmware update to the camera. So that may take a day or two. We just wanna make sure this happens properly. We wanna make sure that nobody's cameras are affected. And so we wanna make sure that you go through the process properly. So it may take a day or two, but this is the best way to make sure the update completes without any trouble. And last but not least, if you have a brand new camera, you're gonna see a slightly different message. Um, because the camera has never checked into our servers before, we need to make sure that the camera is in all the correct modes. So if you have never checked in, this camera is called new camera. You can see it is never checked in. There's no information down here in the daily report. If we try to send it a camera firmware update, we're going to be told your camera has not sent a daily report to Hunt Control. This usually happens after 24 to 48 hours of continuous operation. So best thing to do, leave this camera running, let it take some pictures. A day or two later, come back, then you can perform the update. If you do have the camera out for several days and it has been operating for those several days and you're still getting this message, by all means, reach out to us at support at wiseitech.com or you can call the office at 225 478 4026 during business hours and we'll be happy to help you through this we hope this has been informative if you need the video on the apps please go to our site and check out that you can learn how to update via the apps we're also going to have some more videos coming out talking about the firmware features thank you very much for choosing wise we hope you have a great day